Sean McDiarmid was born in Carnmore, about three miles from the village of Kilty Clara. Well, we're very proud of him. And as far as I know, he was a very handsome man. I can personally remember his old brother, Patrick. I can see him coming into Mass in Kilty on two sticks. The first time I visited the house was to attend the wake of his nephew, John James, who could have been in the 60s. The focus of the Rising and the focus of historians was always on um, the figures of Pierce and Connolly. The fact that he was the hidden figure, along with Tom Clark, the two hidden figures in the, the organising of the Rising, um, more important in their ways than Pierce and Connolly. His role as Director of Elections in the 1908 election here, and then his movement around Ireland organising for the IRB, leading to his eventual uh, membership of the Military Council, which um, set in motion the plans for the Rising uh, on Easter Sunday 1916. Uh, well, Sean McDermott uh, is uh, certainly, in my opinion, and in the opinion of many, one of the greatest Leitrim people who ever lived. And there's no doubt but that without Sean McDermott in 1916 would not have taken place, and neither would the events after 1916. So he has had a profound effect on modern Irish history. What Sean McDermott meant to me really more than anything else was, Sean McDermott is, I suppose, the person who came from a very rural, deprived background in North County Leitrim where there was great poverty, and I suppose really felt the, 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 the real impact of British imperialism in Ireland. At a very young age he realised that the law was something that was there for to, I suppose, keep the peasant down and keep the lord in his mansion. And my German was set out to change that. And a setting out to change that led him to, I suppose, end up in front of a firing squad in 1916. And really McDermott and the McDermott Summer School of what we come here today, while it's about history, it's also about our destiny. It's about ensuring that the things that he held so dear are a reality for our future. Anybody, as I said before, any way involved in anything local, community, politics or whatever, has got to follow the trail of Sean McDermott. While it was a very short trail, and tragically so, and that goes back into all our history and, and you know, all the wrong things that happened in this country. But you'd wonder what they would have done for this part of the country.